What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to bring you a different video, different kind of video I should say. Um, so what you're looking at is my collection so far of Topps complete sets. Um, now I have to keep this separate from my, I guess, main collection you'd say in my office because, frankly, I don't have enough room for this. <laughs> um, so as you can imagine, um, I keep these in my closet. Um, at one point I did have all of these in binders, but um, then again, as you can imagine, I had tons and tons of binders. So, uh, what I've done here is started, originally my idea was to start from 83 tops, because that's when I was born, and work until the present. But, since then, I've decided I'm just going to collect as many sets as I can. So, um, I've actually gotten up to, or back to rather, if you want to say that, um, 82 tops. So, as it stands, we've got 82 through, I believe that is uh, 94. And then there are some missing spots in there, and then I have 04 to the present. So I got to fill in like 95, 97, 98, so on and so forth like that. Um, but really the purpose of this video is not to show off uh, all these complete sets, because I'm sure you've seen most of these, um, or at least um, for those of you that collect you know, rookie cards, the key rookie cards, at least from the uh, 80s sets. Um, but my main question to you uh, in discussion um, is how many of you still go after um, s complete sets? How many of you out there are still set builders? Because um, I know that's how I how I pretty much got into the game um, was building sets, um, and I you know I always had a, a PC of a certain player. Um, for me as a little kid, it was Nolan Ryan, but um, I was always out trying to build sets, whether it was tops, Fleer, upper deck, you know, all the sets from uh, back in the day. So I mainly just wanted to get you guys' ideas, and then if you are a set builder, do you do something like I do, where you have these five-row boxes, or do you actually put them in binders, and, uh, you know, have them out for display? So um, just just let me know down in the comments below, show you some of these cards, um, what you think. Um, as you can <laughs> as you can obviously see, these are are thousands upon thousands of penny sleeves and yes each one of these sets are complete the key rookie cards are in these sets because most of them I already have in a in a PSA or um, or in, in like a top loader because most of these I did hand collate um, painfully enough I did hand collate things like uh, this monster right here uh, 89 tops that took a lifetime it seemed like so after experiences like with 89 and then oddly enough um, 87 was a bit of a monster too 87 tops uh, so I just then started buying the sets uh, complete I'll let somebody else hand collate them or open up a factory set kind of thing and then I will um, just sleeve them up and put them away. It was just really interesting. It's been interesting for me to see, like, um, you know, tops went, had 792, and then it got up to um, 92 was the last year where it was just tops, it just one set, and then 93 is when it started uh, series one, series two, but it was still keeping uh, a pretty good count. And then you look at sets like right here is um, 90, I believe this is 96, which is also the first year Mickey Mantle um, started being card number seven. But 96, I mean, you can see, look at, I mean, there's what, seven, 800 cards right there. And then all of a sudden uh, the sets go down to like 440, I believe. So it's kind of, kind of bizarre how they did that um, and why they did that. Because then a few years later, um, they started up with, um, putting putting the sets up to uh, about 660 cards. Um, at least that's how it was from 06 to 
I think it was either 13 or 14, then um, they started going up to uh, a little bit more than a 660. Um, I don't do the updates, although I have a few of the completed update sets. I don't do the updates or anything like that. So these are just straight up tops. No tops Tiffany, no tops traded, none of that stuff. All right, guys, so let me know what you think uh, in the comments. And if you're a set builder, tell me what you do, man. I'm interested because you, as, as a collector, you know, we're always trying to find the right way to sort or, or, uh, or you know, that kind of thing. So just let me know what you think. And uh, like they always say, happy collecting.